When Mr. Abbott took office in 2013, he had a plan to get rid of Labor. He just didn't have a plan to govern. Likewise, Malcolm Turnbull had a plan to get rid of Tony Abbott, but he also didn't have a plan to govern. There was a time when Mr. Turnbull did have policies. He used to be in favour of an Australian Republic. He was in favour of genuine action on climate change, and indeed, once crossed the floor to vote for a price on carbon. But he was so possessed by his sense of destiny that he would be Prime Minister that he was prepared to trade all of that in in return for the keys to the lodge. And we all know how that ended up. As for Scott Morrison, it remains a complete mystery why he is Prime Minister, <laughs> much less what he stands for. In the week since the Morrison coup, he has shrunk in the job and increasingly looks like the product of marketing rather than conviction. 